on new loan packages, including mortgages for new houses, loans for vehicle purchases, locally manufactured goods and holiday expenses at annual interest rates running below inflation. Turkish defense giant Asel San's income grew by 30%. rose to 4,585 as the country reported 22 new fatalities since yesterday. Healthcare professionals conducted over 30,000 new tests, raising the overall number to over 2 million. High intensive care unit number per person, a proactive healthcare sector, and trust in government officials is helping the country deal with the pandemic. The country's healthcare is putting up a brave fight against the mm. deadly virus, trying its best to keep the number of deaths as low as possible and succeeding so far. Doctors credit Turkey's course of treatment and implementation of isolation measures for the country's ability to avoid a wider crisis. The council, headed by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, said in a statement that negative approaches of some actors who met on the common ground against Turkey regarding Turkey's legitimate and legal steps in the Mediterranean were evaluated, and it is stated that protection of our country's rights and interests in land, sea and air will continue. The Council also said Turkey will resolutely continue its fight against terrorism with its operations both inside and across the border. The statement added, the commitment to continue multidimensional works to protect the territorial integrity of Syria, to clear the region of terrorist organizations and return of Syrians to their countries was reiterated. Regarding current developments in Libya, the Council said Turkey will continue providing military consultancy to Libya's legitimate government. Libya's internationally recognized government, also known as the Government of National Accord, has been under attack by renegade general Khalifa Haftar's forces since April 2019. The meeting also underlined the success of Turkey's health, economy, food, technology, public order and security during the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. number 266,422. Compared to last month, today's 1,424 ICU patients was down by 57 percent, and the number of intubated patients decreased by 66 percent. Turkey's case numbers have also gone down by 48 percent. Patients who have recovered from the coronavirus increased to 130,852 and 931 patients were discharged from hospitals in the last 24 hours. Total number of deaths have risen to 4,609. Turkey has recorded 24 new deaths in the last 24 hours. Tedbirlere uymak artık sadece sağlığımızı iyice güvenceye almak, salgının önünü kesmek anlamına gelmekle kalmıyor. Tedbirlere uymak aynı zamanda ülkemizin refahını artırmakla sorumlu kurumların insanların önünü açmak anlamına geliyor. Healthcare professional Terasetini de dayana kabul ederek diyebiliriz ki ikinci dalga beklemiyoruz. Facilitate daily life in public spaces. With many Turks returning to work, hand sanitizers, gloves and face masks have become essential accessories to take out. Normalleşme zamanı başladığı için biz normal sosyal halka, sosyal yaşama odaklanmaya başladık ve bunun için de sosyal yaşamı devamlı için de ürünler geliştirmeye başladık. A 3D printed tool that allows users to open and close doors without touching the handle 
is ready to take its place among the must-have items in your bag. The touchless tool also allows you to safely get into elevators and press buttons. Flights and car travel resumed between Turkey's big cities on Monday. And cafes, restaurants and Istanbul's Grand Bazaar reopened in the country's biggest step to ease restrictions taken to contain the coronavirus pandemic. Public banks have been providing financial opportunities to contribute to the revitalization of the economy in recent years. And the effort in this regard has accelerated during the challenging pandemic period, with banks delivering several types of credit packages. The country's banking watchdog data shows that the share of banks increased up to 47.7% in credit, while their share in deposits has also grown to 42.3%. According to the data by the Banking Regulation and Supervision Agency, the three public banks, Zira Bank, Bakov Bank and Halk Bank, hold a major share of the total loan volume in Turkey, as those banks in recent years have immediately taken action in any turmoil in the economy. At the end of 2014, the share of public banks in loans was 30.8%, while this rate increased to 47.7% as of the 22nd of May. The banks initially postponed principal and interest payments of firms facing cash flow disruptions and are providing additional financing support during the pandemic, following the steps taken by the government to avert the COVID-19 effect on the economy. State lenders also announced a low interest credit package for families with monthly incomes under 5,000 Turkish lira which is around 740 US dollars. Zero Bank, Black of Bank and Health Bank are set to begin offering four new loan packages, including mortgages for new houses, loans for vehicle purchases, locally manufactured goods and holiday expenses at annual interest rates running below inflation. Turkish defense giant Aselsan's income grew by 30% to 2.6 billion Turkish liras in the first quarter of 2020 on an annual basis. The firm's gross profit also increased to 61% over the same period, and net profit was up to 46% to 920 million Turkish liras. During the first three months of the year, the company received new orders, which totaled $350 million. Protection measures to ensure survival. The company said it has maintained both the growth and profitability in the past few years, which have been challenging for many sectors in the financial sense, highlighting that they have also managed to keep the indebtedness rates at the lowest level. Asasan expects a 40% to 50% income rise by the end of 2020.